Hello and welcome back to my channel. Today we are going to be making a candy apple soap and I want to change it up a little bit. This time I would like to pipe like an apple pie crust on it and um, I got this piping tip here for this purpose. I never used it before. It's gonna be again an experiment on camera. I love to do that. So the first thing that I'm going to do is to prepare my piping bag beforehand so once I'm ready to pipe I can move rather quickly. So the way I like to prepare the piping bag, this one is a disposable bag. You can also find a non-disposable. It depends on your preference. I'm cutting the tip off and then I'm sliding in the tip like so. Then I twist it and I turn it this way. And then I just add it to an empty pitcher like so. So then I can comfortably fill the pitcher here without the soap leaking out. I'm gonna move this one to the side and then I'm gonna show you the colorant and the fragrance. So for the crust I have this gold sparkle mica. Let's see if this is exactly the color that I'm going for. And then I have this fiery red and I will leave a link to some options that you have in your area because I'm in here in Europe. I don't have so many options as you have you have the nurture soap micas, which are absolutely my favorite. You can have a look there in the description. Then for fragrance, that's also a fragrance that comes from a company here in Europe. It's called Saint Perfect, and this specific one is called Frosted Candy Apple. So I like to prepare the ingredients beforehand and then put it to the side. The mold I'm going to be using is this wooden soap mold here with a silicone liner inside. I love it. The eye water solution and the oils are at the same temperature. So I'm going to add the light water solution to the oils and then I'm going to stick blend it to emulsion. I'm going to split off a portion for the piping. Put it to the side or go ahead and color see if this fiery red here is what I want to achieve. I don't want it to be completely bright red, you know. Now it's time to add the fragrance oil that I already pre-measured. Just gonna add all the fragrance oil in here and then give it a good mix with the spatula. Does smell amazing. Just want to make sure that all the fragrance oil is well incorporated to avoid some fragrance pockets. All right. I'm going to shake the soap down a little bit to even it out. It doesn't need to be perfect because it's going to be covered in the crust anyway. So let's have a look at the frosting. Let's add the colorant. This is not bad. I'm going to add a darker tone to it. So we are not, we are not there yet. We need to wait and give it a little more time. You see, it's still a little runny, but we will get there. The frosting looks good to be piped. You can see it holds on the spatula, so I'm going to transfer it into the piping bag. Okay, so fingers crossed. And now we go the other way around. If I need to add a border here. I'm gonna give it a spritz with rubbing alcohol to prevent soda ash on top and then we'll be back for the cut. It's the next day and I'm really glad how the soap top turned out. 
Now let's see how the inside looks. I'm going to add it to the soap loaf cutter. The one I purchased here in Europe, this business is not in business anymore, but I will leave links to an alternative in your area. I really love how it turned out. Completely different than the one I made one year ago. I'm gonna show you, I just have like a sample piece, but this is the one where I piped some leaves on top and with soap dough, I did this apple stem, but I like this very, very much. I'm going to run some kitchen paper through the soap wires to avoid dragging the soap through the new soap portion. And then we're gonna stamp it immediately as the consistency is firm enough. I did not even use any sodium lactate on this one here. It was not needed in my opinion. And this is a sample piece. It's also a piece that you can use to stamp to see whether or not you like your consistency, your stamping and so forth. And this is also like a sample piece here. Now for the stamping, I'm using a rubber mallet and my acrylic stamp. I'm going to then put it here on the cookie sheet. I have a baking rack for the curing of my soap. It's very space saving. I have a link for all suitable auctions in your area because I'm here in Europe but this was a game changer for me. So like I said, I'm gonna start with the soap sample here and then what you can do to make the release of the stamp easier, just give a spritz with rubbing alcohol onto your stamp, then you place it where you want to have it. You just wanna give it a light tap. And there you have your impression. Of course, now the rubbing alcohol will evaporate and then you have a nice stamp. really happy with my experiment. Now these are going to go onto the baking rack and cure for at least four to six weeks. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you are interested in other soap making related videos, feel free to check out the playlist here on the screen where I share many more videos around the topic. I hope to see you very soon in another video and until then I wish you a wonderful day. Bye bye!